Now let's try to solve this another word problem of set theory. Question is saying here in a group of 65 people, 20, you know, there are 65 people and out of the 65 people, 20 people drink tea but not coffee, right? That means tea difference coffee and 38 drinks tea only. It means total number of people which drink, uh, who drink uh, tea, all right? And 15 take neither of the two, means they are neither taking coffee nor the tea and find how many uh, drink tea and coffee both so we need to find out tea intersection coffee and how many drink coffee but not tea uh, here we need to find out uh, coffee difference tea so, so total number of people who are drinking coffee but not tea all right so uh, to solve these types of the problem always and always i'm telling you first you need to understand what the question is saying and Try to first write all the given information. Once you write all the given information, then try to represent the given information into the Venn diagram. And once you write the Venn diagram, there you learn what, what exactly the question is saying. You'll understand, uh, you'll, you'll analyze the problem. And so uh, after that, you can uh, easily uh, go to the solution, what exactly the question is asking you. So first, what I'm doing here, I'm just trying to write the given information. So first given information is 65 people. So who is, uh, who is this 65 people? So these are the total number of people, all right? So total uh, number of people that is my universal set, all right? So number of total people and U is how much? 65, all right? And uh, after that, what we have next? Uh, 20 drinks tea, but not coffee. It means uh, people which are taking coffee, uh, tea, but not coffee. That is tea difference coffee, all right? Uh, number of people drinking, drinking tea, but not coffee all right that is uh, an t difference coffee coffee is represented by c suppose okay those are 20 and now uh, 38 people drink tea so total number of people who are drinking uh, tea all right number of people drinking tea it means out of those uh, this nt it is representing and t cardinal number of t actually it is uh, it means the, uh, it is 38 here 38 people out of this 30 people some people are drinking coffee also keep in mind all right but 20 are just taking tea okay and the next one is 15 15 take neither of the two means they are neither taking coffee nor tea all right so a number of people drinking uh, neither of the neither of them neither of them means neither of coffee nor uh, nor uh, tea all right so how to represent this to represent this i'm taking first all the people who are taking uh, tea as well as coffee and then i'll put the complement sign if i'll give the complement sign then it means uh, it is out of the region of t and c it means those people which are not taking tea and uh, as well as they are not taking coffee it means they are not taking any of the drinks okay so those are 15. now what the question is asking us the question is asking how many drink tea and the coffee both all right so so we need to find out here uh, how many people they drink tea and coffee that is tea intersection coffee how many are those and next question is how many drink coffee but not tea all right the people who drink coffee but not tea c difference tea we need to find out all right this uh, the same thing you can write somehow like this also to some extent uh, and not c those people who only take coffee all right uh, is how much it's, it's the same thing, these both are same. Similarly, this you can write something like, the people who just take tea, not the coffee, is 20, all right? So now, uh, representing the above given information into the Venn diagram. So to represent in Venn diagram, as usual, we have to first uh, make a rectangle, all right? So here is my rectangle, and let me suppose this is section for tea, and this section is for coffee, all right? Okay, so uh, let me see. This is U means complete uh, number of people that is here 65, and uh, this is say, T, this is let's say coffee. So now let's start filling this Venn diagram. You should know how to fill the Venn diagram. This is very, very important. All right, so we'll be starting one by one. First, we have got uh, number of people who take tea but not coffee, means those people which take tea but not coffee this region they are talking about all right so this is how much 20 okay so 20 people here taking tea but not coffee and next information the complete number of people which are taking tea is 38 means 
this complete reason this complete reason is how much 38 so 20 we have already covered so in this much section how much we need to write yes rest of this 18 that is 38 minus 20 it will be 18 all right now the third information uh, those people which are neither taking any of them all right means they are neither taking tea nor coffee they are not taking anything means they are out of this tea and coffee section so we will be writing out of these circles okay so uh, 15 i am writing here so now uh, i fill up 20 18 and 15 all that given information is finished now so now i'm gonna ask you how many people were there initially yes initially the complete u represents how much the complete u is how much this complete u is 65 right so uh, what i'm going to do from 65 i'm going to subtract this is the our total people total number of people from total number of people i'm going to subtract this 20 all right and then i will subtract this 15 and then i will subtract this 18 all right let me shift a little then i'll subtract 18 so now the number of people left will be filled in this coffee section though those people only take coffee all right because the rest of these every places has been filled up already and only one vacant place is there and that vacant place is here the people who are taking coffee so 65 minus 20 you'll get uh, 45 all right and 45 minus 15 you'll get 30 and 30 minus 18 you'll get 12 so there are 12 people who are taking coffee but not tea all right so we got everything now vein diagram is showing you everything whatever you need all right uh, let's go to the question now say question is saying here see uh, how many people are there which are taking tea as well as coffee so from from question you got it here see from the vein diagram uh, you see there are 18 peoples which are taking coffee as well as the tea so how much is our answer our answer is 18 here all right and next uh, those number of people um, which are taking coffee but not tea so this is the reason where people are taking only coffee not tea all right so this is 12 all right we got the answer and this is how we need to solve this type of the problem you know first write the given uh, information properly that is your first step all right this is your first step and then representing in the vein diagram that is your second step all right and in third step you might have to do some time calculation all right so uh, like like i did here all right uh, but uh, I, I here did in a very short way but you know you need to do something uh, in proper way like uh, like number of total people u is actually number of people who are drinking tea all right number of people who are only drinking uh, coffee and then number of people uh, which are drinking tea as well as coffee and number of people uh, number of people which are uh, neither drinking tea nor coffee all right in that way so t union c complement all right so altogether how many people are there 65 all right and number of tea drinkers are only how much 20 and number of coffee drinkers we don't know just coffee drinkers we don't know that we know the tea as well as coffee drinker from the vein diagram uh, and from the normal concept also from the question itself you know like see total people are 38 who are drinking tea and 20 people just drink tea so rest of this 18 drinks tea as well as coffee from the question itself you're knowing right so this is how much 18 and uh, the person who are not taking tea as well as coffee is 15 all right so now you need to find out this and intersection c and what is that now 65 minus this 20 minus this 18 minus this 15 and you're gonna get here 12 that's your answer this is how we need to find out so number of people which are uh, it's not the answer by the way uh, number of people which are just drinking coffee so the same thing you can write something like coffee difference tea that is how much 12 all right in this way you need to solve all right this is your third step so third step is calculation this is your third step and in every problem of this type of word problem this type of word problem of state theory you have to solve in the same manner same manner is there so just three step you can solve any 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 type of the problem all right just three points and finished. All right. Goodbye.